Happening now, friends and family are mourning the loss of a young NFL player from Miami. Trey Walker died earlier tonight, less than 24 hours after crashing his motorbike. Carrie Codd has the latest. Family and friends of Trey Walker kept vigil outside Jackson Memorial Hospital for hours ever since Walker's accident on Thursday night. Friday evening, their worst fears came to pass. Sadness and grief were on display outside Ryder Trauma Center Friday evening as family and friends of Trey Walker, a Miami native and a pro cornerback with the Baltimore Ravens, died. It has been a sad day. Walker died after suffering massive injuries when the dirt bike he was riding in Liberty City Thursday night collided with his SUV. Those closest to him prayed and hoped for word that Walker would pull through after surgery, but it did not happen. His sister, Shaquita Hardy, could hardly bear it. I love you, Trey. I'm we always love you. Love you. Always I am my sister, you. the brothers keepers. Investigators say it appears Walker, who played football at Miami Northwestern High School, was riding his dirt bike without lights on a dark street while wearing dark clothing. Police say it's possible the driver did not see him. It's a tragic end to the life of a young man who accomplished his goal of making it to the NFL, getting drafted last year. That was his dream. And he made it. The Ravens head coach, John Harbaugh, tweeted that Walker was a young man with a good and kind heart. He was humble and loved everything about being part of the Ravens team. Walker's was a life cut short with dreams unfulfilled. He had so many dreams and he came too far, too far, too, too, too far. And it's going down the drain. That was the theme we heard from people here at the hospital, as well as on social media, and from his teammates with the Baltimore Ravens. One of his teammates sent out a quote tonight. It says, Football was Walker's escape. It hurts my heart that he's not getting the chance to show the world just what type of man and football player he was going to be. At Jackson Memorial Hospital, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight.